Thank you guys, my name is Game Boy. Today's game we're going to be playing is called Sly Cooper 4. And we're going to go out as Bentley just because we need to go out as Bentley and try to solve why these people are showing up in the past and everything. And actually apprehend them, of course, just because they're basically destroying the timeline and trying to get all the Cooper Canes for some reason. I'm not sure if it's all the Cooper Canes, but whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so that's just the hideout area, so... Uh, of course, let's just go. Let's just do this, and let's... Uh, of course. Really? Really? So it's that easy to get spotted here? Of course. Where do I need to go? Can you not do that? Good lord. That's the one thing I do not like about this one particular game. But, uh, in the series, of course. Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work! Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. I do like how basically they are using the computer and technology that they have. Okay, okay, so can you not talk? Or can you just I'm shut up or something? I should have gone with a sombrero. Um, yeah, can you just shut up? I'm trying to do a video here, and, uh, of course, uh, of course, so, yeah, I do have to watch out for what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, so, yeah, let's just try, okay, go over to here, let's just keep watching, I know I can do it, it's just really hard, because once you let go of the button, it's just really hard to do. How far out of town is this place? <laughs> no, duh! No, freaking duh! If I could okay, do this properly. I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct. <laughs> yes, I don't care. Let's just do okay, this. I don't like, um, how Bentley moves and everything, just because if you let go of the jump- Oh, can we- Thank you, good lord. The grab- The grabbing mechanism on this- in this game is not good, and it's like- It's like when you let go of that- When you're going and you're- Come on, I don't like when they grab onto ledgers anymore. It used to be a signature in Sly Cooper games to where you could do it, but- it's like now they aren't allowing you to do it. Uh, of course, of course. But yeah, it's like very difficult now when you're ha holding onto a lead. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. No, duh. I get what I need to do. It's just I really do not like certain of certain movements in this game. Like I don't. I understand they they wanted to update and everything. It's just. If you have a thing that already works, just bring it over to the next that. game. Just bring it over to the next game and don't, like, mess with it too much. Because it's like, I'm just trying to jump and usually it would work if I'm holding on to something. But for some reason in this game, it does not allow you to do anything like that. Okay, so if I can do this properly, I could do this. And I do apologize for complaining, but it's... A minor complaining. It's minor, very minor, but it's very noticeable because it's just very, very no. 
noticeable when you're actually playing. When you're not playing, then it's not no like it's not noticeable when you're. Good lord, how? Okay, how do they think for you to do this? Because I I know what I'm doing. It's just. You need to be able to still see him, but how do you still see him when he's in a corridor that doesn't allow you to, I don't know, be around him? Ugh, this is gonna be a little tricky, but not hard. If nobody's going to find this entrance, time to take a little look at my gulp! <laughs> All right, time to open up a can of hack. Oh, scorpions! Guys, help! Yeehaw! The cavalry's are coming! Don't worry, Bentley! I got the bug spray right here! Um, okay, so it's one of these. I see what they're trying to do with this, but uh, of course, I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, let's go, and let's just make sure that I'm... Okay, so it's gonna lock on to the enemy. Great, that's gonna be fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I see, I see what I need to do here. I just need to make sure that I go and do what I need to do. Not too difficult because I can just use one shot to do this because they made it very, very easy this time. Not like in Sly Cooper where it wasn't easy, where when Murray was running around those areas, you couldn't do it as well, but at least they re refined this and everything. At least they did this and made it a lot better, so that's at least the best I can say for this part. Okay, make sure that none of the scorpions come towards him. Okay, you need to get shot, and is that the last scorpion? Uh, no it's not, but I can at least get that. And what mini game am I playing now? What little mini game hacking thing am I gonna do now? Am I gonna do the ball? Am I gonna do the 2D section? Okay, so I'm gonna do this section. Great. I get I, I get it. Clock speed. Better use the speeder code. Time for that upgrade slot. Speeder code engaged. Updating physics code module. And voila! Elastic projectiles! Perfect for shooting around corners. I do not like this. Really do not like this. Meaning I don't like how this is. Okay, well, so uh, I can't take this security on directly. Time to bounce some shots around the corner. Okay, can I at least get a word in Edwise? Because this game loves to not let you speak. The game just loves to speak for you. I really don't like when games do this. Like they speak the all the time. The loop will work perfectly on that switch. If I press and hold the R2 button while moving the ship. I can close a damaging laser loop around a target. Uh, of course, I know what I'm doing. It's just very slippery at this point. Okay, so does that do something? Yes, yes it does. But yes, I do need my original ship to be able to do this. Get it. I right, get it. Right, there's gotta be a lock for this around here. I really don't like that these things just keep talking like I don't like how Bentley Murray Sly and anyone else just keep talking during the mission it's like we understand you're, you're on a mission and you are worried and everything and I get that but it's really oh my god I just do not like when they just cannot shut their pie hole like I get what they're trying to do and I get that there is some supposed to be like like, 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 I get that it's supposed to be very interactive with you and try to go and tell you how the the characters feel, think, and act around certain things, but it's like, we don't need a commentary on pretty much everything. We get what we need to do. It just really sucks that everything needs a commentary nowadays, like in video games. 
Even if they're made for kids. If they're made for kids, like this game is, it seems like they need a commentary on everything. Like, they need a commentary on pretty much everything, because if they don't, it feels like... It feels like if they don't commentate on everything, you're going to not know what to do, but I'm clearly understanding what I'm needing to do. I just do not like how I have to be told exactly what I need to do. Ugh. But anyway, let's just keep going. No, Doug! Can I at least do this without you talking every 10 seconds? But whatever, whatever. At least I just need to do what I need to do here and once I do what I'm doing I'm then able to do it but yeah Maybe can I shoot? yes thank you for a second there I was wondering why I wasn't able to do that but, but, but I now know okay so if I do it that way I do have that so that's good okay now that I have all these stuff open I can now use my normal stuff okay let's just keep going and let's go okay so that's I guess that's the next level I guess or is that the entrance to the code like is that the entrance to the code or is that the end okay so yeah it is I just really do not like that they just keep talking throughout what you're trying to do I like when they let you figure it out or and everything. Like, I understand if they're doing story and all that and they're talking about what they have to do within the story, but that was not... Most of the stuff that they say during this, it's not story-related. It's just character building and... Security, thy game is hacked! Awesome, Murray! Okay, Tennessee, you're up! Shoot! I'll be in and out quicker than a hyperactive rattlesnake! Uh, hey, guys! This door's kinda... Uh, heavy! Yeah, I just don't like how... Yes, character building is good and all that, but I don't like how they just keep talking and talking and talking when you already clearly know what character they are. It just really... Ugh. But whatever. If modern games do this, then modern games do this, but I'm just not gonna like it. I like the game for what it is and everything, but I would just play it without the sound. I would play it with the music and, I, and everything, but I would mute the voices. There's my gun! Uh-huh! That's right! The kid is back in business! Alrighty! Me and old Blue need to get reacquainted. Let's see. First, I need to press and hold the L1 button to enter targeting mode. Once in targeting mode, I can use the right stick to place the cursor over a target. Then I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. Yes, sir! It's all coming back to Guess I better make tracks before old Toothpick finds out. No, duh, because I sort of have to. Can I go any faster? I Thank what you. Old toothpick is cooking up in here. What in tarnation? So whoever is that skunk knows their technology. Whoever that skunk is, they know their technology. Okay, run, run. Don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do this. Ah, oh, good lord. Okay, so at least I can go and do this. Okay. Not the best, not the best. I should be cautious on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So, yeah. So, you come to me. Come to me. And then I just shoot you dead. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. This big old door is gonna require my crack shot technique. First, I press and hold the R2 button to enter crack shot mode. Next, I can use the right stick to move the cursor and draw a bead on multiple targets. Then I just release the R2 button to blast them. I can only use crack shot when my Cooper focus is full. This one's tricky. I need to shoot all those locks at the same time. Whoa! 
So I have to press the button here too. And let me guess. Let me let me guess. If I shoot this wall, I get a secret. Let's see. Let me try. Okay, so no, 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 no. I don't get a secret. I thought I would, but I don't. Okay, let's just. Hey, no duh. No duh that I have to jump to different rails and do this type of stuff. Okay, so I know what I'm doing. I just okay. Can you just shut up, please? I don't care. I really don't care for what you have to say. Some of the things that you say, I don't need to know or I don't care to know. But yeah, I I, I get it. Just jump from rail to rail, and then once done that. Okay, can you not? I don't really care. You boys should have just skedaddled. Okay, I really don't care for the little banter that they have. You know, like, like it's clever and everything, and, I, and it builds character, but it's still like, we don't really need it all the time. But whatever, this game wants to do it, then this game can do it. It's just not one of my favorite parts. Not one of my favorite parts of any game, or any modern game, of course. But at least I did find that, so um, that's good. That is certainly good. Do I get more coin? Thank you. Where do I go? I should be very cautious around here because I can die and I do not want to. I can go, shoot the spiders, however I can, and then just go. Just be able to go and then I should be able to do this. Okay, so yeah. If I just run, run, run. Uh, excuse me, what just happened? Like, what exactly just happened right there? I got slingshotted. I don't know how I got slingshotted. If I can just run and just do this. If I can run and do this, that would be fun and freaking fantastic. Yeah, oh, good lord. Ah, ah, I'm dying. I'm dying all over. Okay, if I can do this, go, go, go. Yes, yes, yes. You are from the old west, and you do those silly quips. I get that he does those silly old quips. Okay, okay, so I have to do something with these rails and... Okay, can you just shut up? Like, like, is there an option for, like, character dialogue within the area? Like, uh... Let's go to the options, audio... Yeah, there is a speech volume, but then that do, that does that do, like, the dialogue within like what I have to do and everything I'm gonna try to turn it off and if it does anything within the cutscenes then I do apologize but I'm gonna make sure that if if this goes and turns off the cutscene um volume then I do apologize I will return I will turn it back on and of and everything for the next cutscene but I'm gonna make sure that I have it off for right now because I really do not want to hear Tennessee Cooper do his little quips and everything. It's fine and all if I'm playing on my own, but it, because I can always like turn off the volume on my end and have the game still do it, but still it's like, uh, you do not like it or want it, but if this turns it off for the, like, the cutscenes, then then I'm not gonna like it, but I really hope it doesn't turn it off for the cutscenes because if I can do this Okay. Oh! I have to be very careful with this. They can jump, and I have to be so very careful with that. Okay, good. That's at least good. T can I get any health? Um, oh wait, I thought I was, like, dead. I thought I was, like, permanently dead or something. Oh god. Oh, good lord. 
can I jump? Or did he just forget how to do it? Because I... Okay, okay. You... I really am not enjoying. You get to... I am not enjoying. And now I just hit you, spider. Hit you, tiny spider. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this over. How far? Not too far, but far enough to where... I have to redo some of the mission area, but I got it. Go. Okay, can you stop? Stop with this. I know I'm running in between the enemies, but I don't really need this. I don't need the garbage that's happening on screen right now. I don't need this garbage. I, I do need the garbage of trying to do this correctly. Um, okay. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough. I was definitely not fast enough to do that part. But I now know that I have to do this in a certain way. Okay, go, go. Okay, that's good. That makes it a lot more... So, I get... Oh, 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 I have to do the quick shot thing. I have to do the quick shot thing, or else I'm not going to be able to do this. So I'm turning back on the volume for the sound and everything because, um, yeah, the cutscenes, yeah, don't have the volume for the characters. I like the character volume when in the cutscenes, but outside the cutscenes, I really hope, I really wish that they had something for outside the cutscenes. But before anything, because I sort of have to, let's turn it back on and let's do what we need to. I hate that I have to have the speech volume up because that means that during ga normal gameplay they're just gonna spout and talk whatever they want and everything and that's not what I would really want but if I must and I do okay can load thank you so who do I go out as so apparently now I'm able to at least go out as Tennessee Cooper so that's at least good and that's kind of suggestive. Yeah, that's kind of suggestive, but whatever. Where to now, I guess? Um, uh, okay, so I go there. At least I have this, so I don't have to worry that much. I don't have to worry that much. Can you drop up? Thank you. It was easier to drop in the last game. Good lord, it's like... This game does not want you to, like, fall. Okay, can we... The moment I want to do something, this game does not want, really want me to do it. Okay, so I am able to do that, at least. You can grab that bottle, of course. Oh, I'm able to go on the tracks? That's cool, so am I heading in the right direction? Nope. Not even the slightest. So, am I now heading in the right direction? Still no! Tempig's office is somewhere in the upper levels of the saloon. To find out what he's planning, our best bet is to plant a bug. Needless to say, we must remain undetected. Conveniently, I discovered they're looking for a new bartender. So I'll go in, undercover, and control the situation by introducing the patrons to my special home-brewed sarsaparilla. Your mustache looks... bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. You'll need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up, they'll be seeing double until they crash hard. Once you launch the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. So, um, yeah, it looks like I just go over to here and do what I need to do. I just have to do this first because 
I'm noticing it, and if I don't do it, I'm not gonna be able to do it sooner, so... I'm gonna have to go and get these bottles if I want them for my bottles counter, because if I don't get them now, I'm not gonna ever get them, so... Watch your back, pal. This place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. I've been informed this establishment is in dire need of an expert mm. tap jockey. <laughs> uh, I've got sarsaparilla? Well, these guys look thirsty. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left stick. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the sarsaparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much sarsaparilla I have left. Something tells me it's going to take every drop. I'm playing tappers? Really? That's interesting. I like the I like that I'm playing tappers. This is an interesting concept for a thing that I'm doing. Okay, so all I have to do is just keep going and during that I just have to be in the middle when I do it just because if I'm in the middle at least I can do this a little bit better. Okay, so go do this. Don't wanna Never was really good with tappers. Never good with tappers, but for some reason I am best with this. Okay, that was just very lucky. That. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I was never the one to play tappers really well. I'm. Uh, tappers was not my game. I was just never good with tappers, and yeah, this is gonna take a while for me to do at this point because tappers is not my forte, and I just have to do this correctly. And just, ah, good lord. Um. Okay. So dropping one is okay. Okay, so I get it. So I have a limit that I can do, and... Ah, good lord. This is not easy. This is certainly not easy. I get what I need to do, I just am not good with tappers. Tappers, not a game I was good at. I can never get past, like, the second level of tappers. Like, I could, I could get past, like, the first level of tappers, but I could never get past the second level. Even if I, even when practicing, I could never get past the second level of tappers. Like, it always went and tripped me up when I had to do the multiple ones and everything. Okay, let's go. Good lord, this is not easy. This is certainly really not easy. Can, can we just slow down here? This would be a lot easier if you could slow down on the, the sarsaparilla. Good lord. I just wasted two. Okay, good. Some of these guards are still away. So now, to be off to where? Just need to stay off the floor. Um. Okay, I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. Not exactly what I want. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna get zapped. I went onto the floor and I wasn't meaning to. I need to be careful. Can I? Thank you. Okay, let's do this correctly. If I can do this correctly, I would like that very much. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, good, 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 good. Do I get to play more of that mini game? Do I get to play more of that mini game or no? Because that was fun. It's fun to do it, but I'm not that hot at it or good at it. Okay, so wait right here. How are they not looking up? Like, at this point, they should have looked up by now, but. Whatever. Hey, Sly, you're on a roll. Great, Sly. 
Right, you just need to reach the ventilation duct. The one thing I wonder is how do they have all this electricity in the Old West? How do they have all of this technology in the Old, Old West? I just... Okay, I get time machine and everything, but still, it, they shouldn't have all of this technology in the Old West. They just shouldn't because even though of... Oh! By going this way, I do get a secret. Okay, but at least I do have that, so... Where do I need to go to exactly? Okay, so I need to go over to here, but I can at least do this. If I'm fast enough, I can at least do it. Okay, good. You can probably move that container if you hit it hard enough, Fly. You can probably move that container if you hit it hard enough, Fly. No, duh! I just really do not like the when I have to use one of Sly's abilities. Like, I get that, I get Sly's abilities, and I get what I need to do with it and everything, but it's like, his costumes are more functional than his, like, circle function. Like, I, I try to do his circle function, and it's like, it's a hit or miss. But at least they never miss at doing this, so yeah, let's just go do this. Oh, um, okay. So I'm able to do this. Oh, it's just like the first game with a mugshot. Like with mugshot, I just... Oh, of course. Do I have to do that whole thing again? Yes, yes I do. At least I don't have to stand that close and I can just do this. But yeah, let's go. Okay. Hold on. Um, do not... Okay, so let's go. Okay! Come on! This is garbage. This is absolute garbage at this point. I was doing it and uh, I just really hate when... When you're trying to do something and it requires precision button pressing. Like, you have to press the button exactly at the right time. But, whatever. I know what I'm doing, it's just really frustrating because it's like, you. I know what I'm doing, you just have to do it in a certain way, and it's not very clear on wh what certain way, but at least I'm doing this, and how are they not seeing this? How exactly are they not seeing this? A little further to that vent. Okay, so I should go into that vent right there, and I got it. Watch that little beauty. All right, baby. Let's see what you can do for deadly. Um, okay. So... Oh, so I am able to shoot. Um, so what exactly? Okay, so I do have to wait a little bit. Okay, what, what, what the, what am I supposed to do? Okay. So I get somewhat what I have to do is just... Okay, so when the fans are blowing, I cannot do it or else if I do, I do that. Great. Okay, so I am supposed to do it that way and I get it, but I don't like it. I get it, but I don't like it. Oh, 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 it's telling me to go this way, so if I go the opposite way, do I get something special this way? If I go this way, do I get something special from going this way, or what? Uh, basically a bunch of spiders. A bunch of spiders, I guess. So, 
that's surely a thing. So as long as I just keep doing this, I am capable of doing it. Go, go, go! Come on, lock onto the enemy. I get it. I understand what I need to do. And apparently I realize now that it was good path, bad path. Okay. Ah, go fast, go fast, go fast. Good. Okay, what am I doing right here? Alright! Nisima! My partners got an ace up his sleeve. And we're about to go all in. This trump card's going to crush Cooper and the rest of his clean jumping gang. We's going to learn a new dog yank a rattlesnake's tail. Lest you're looking to me. Get bit! <laughs> Then, we are going to finish loading up the train and haul our sweet little kisters out of this one-horse town. Once we get that loot back into present day, I, Toothpick, going to be worth millions! Uh, oopsie. Dang it, boss! Would you watch where you're pointing that thing? Are you talking to me? Whoa, boss! Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean nothing! So he could turn into the Incredible Hulk of Armadillos? Really? So that makes some sense, and that I get why he's gonna be the final boss, and how we are gonna take him down and everything. Not like we can't or anything, but... Yeah, of course, we're gonna have to do what we are here to do and take out Tennessee Cooper and do what we need to do. But whatever, I'm gonna just leave this episode here. This game does not like to shut up. Like, if there was a area of the options where you could just turn off the extra sounds and dialogue, then sure, then I would like it, but it's the extra dialogue, the extra sounds, the extra stuff that... Yes, I get that they're trying to go and do it to where it's fine and all, but when basically you don't want it... it ugh, I do apologize for griping, but there's too much dialogue, but I did like the tapper thing. I did like playing tappers. And that was really cool. I hope that you're able to continue to do that. Like, do, like, go back and do the mini games and everything. Because that would be a really cool addition when you complete the game. Like, when you complete the game, you're able to go back through the game and just do the mini games if you want to and everything. That would be really cool. But anyway, I am just going to leave this episode here and I am just going to go. See ya! Like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a point, subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next one.